Yo, welcome to the channel, the channel called Keep Low. You know what I mean? Thank you for rocking out with Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I am Lashim the God. You know, the company is called Keep Low. You can go to www.keeplowproduction to get your Keep Low Production shirts. Yo, like and share this fucking video. You dig? Hit me with a thumbs up. Yeah, dig? I'm giving you that real shit. And if you don't know me, I do videos on street legends. And, you know, I give you knowledge that'll help you elevate your life. So, once again, go to www.keeploproductions.com and just fuck with me. La Shame to God. Peace. Yo, peace, y'all. What it do? Um, This is La Shame to God. Keep low is the channel. Yo, dig, if you're not subscribed to my channel, rock out with me. But, look. There's a few things I just wanted to build with you kings and queens on today. You feel me? Um, I wanted to build with the fact that a lot of people, you know what I mean, get caught up in desperation. Um, or what seems like desperation. You know what I mean? And you have to utilize your tolerance to things. You know what I mean? To achieve different levels of whatever you want to succeed at, right? Now look, if you working out and you not really used to working out, you might do 10, 20, say 50 push-ups, or maybe 10, 25, 30 push-ups or whatever, 40 push-ups, and then you'll feel a certain way, you feel me? And then or just say like this, somebody say, let's do push-ups as much as you could. And there's just a couple of us around, right? So you, you go down and you start doing the push-ups, boom, boom, boom. You're gonna reach a level where you're gonna be like, damn, I'm getting kind of tired. And then you're gonna be like, nah, but I wanna keep on pushing myself and you're going to push yourself a little more and then your body's going to start feeling then the 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 muscles starting getting tense and all of that and then you're going to try to do a little more and you're going to start to do them slower and then you're going to be like damn I really don't want to stop and it depends on your determination your determination whether you want to stop or not right now that same aspect goes with life but like let me get more into the workout part so you can really get get this with clarity for the people who ain't grasping it right now right so look your muscle tissues after you did the 40 50 push-ups if you if you're not used to doing that or you haven't been doing that your body's not used to that right so your body has to adjust to what you're giving it because this is a new experience right and then that's how life works too, because then the muscles got to get used to it and then you'll get more discipline. And if you keep doing this repetitively, you'll end up being able to do, you know, maybe a 75 or 100 push-ups or, you know, it'll grow. And just like your muscles will grow, right? So you have to utilize the same, um, you have to go the same route or utilize the same principles within life to achieve things that you want. And one thing that I wanted to get into today, like I was telling you about desperation, like you might have a plan or goal that you're trying to succeed at, right? And you might tell your friends about your plan in um, it's up to you whether you want to keep it to yourself or tell it to your, tell it to your friends. But I think it's better that you keep it to yourself most times because you keep the energy in. You feel me? It's a certain degree of energy. And if you start releasing parts of it, you know, things are more subject to going wrong. But look, um, so you might set a goal, right? And you say, um... I'm not going to smoke cigarettes. Well, that's a bad one because smoking cigarettes is bad, period. But, you know, just to an intelligent person that thinks about your health or whatever, or a person that's health conscious. But you might say, 
I don't want to do something, but then you just say, oh, let me just take one cookie or let me take one cigarette or something that you didn't want to do. Now that's not good because if you know that it's something that just the fact that you set a goal, don't set the goal unless you're going to achieve it. You feel me? That's just the perspective that I'm looking at it from because I'm thinking on a crazy different level. You feel me? But um, if you start applying these principles to your life, then you'll start accomplishing more goals, right? So this is any task that you want to achieve at. But then, you know, I don't like it says in biblical testimony that God gives his strongest soldiers the more hardest, you know, challenges or whatever, right? So you got to endure these challenges and look, you got to see it all the way through. And that's whatever you want to do or whatever goal you want to do and see a strong percentage of people, they don't see their goals through or continuously and repetitively, you know what I mean? And once you continuously and repetitively start to see your goals through, it'll become habitual. And that's just like a habit. So now you're just getting up every day accomplishing goals because you started and say, um, damn, I tried to do 40 push-ups. I couldn't do it. I did 20. I'm going to get to do 40 push-ups. And then you pushed yourself and now you can do 40 push-ups like nothing. So we're coming after that. It's definitely going to go up, right? Because you're going to keep reaching for more. You feel me? And look, a lot of people get caught up in desperation. They have a plan. And then they be like, because look, if if, if if God, and I'm God, Cypher Divine, so I don't want you to think in that um, I'm thinking no mysterious shit. But God is, God is, spirit, God is the spiritual essence inside of you right so we here as physical beings you feel me in a physical form because we live in a third dimension so we three dimensional creatures in a physical form right but if you living on your god plane and you know that the the god is the spiritual essence inside you because the mind is the sole controller of all elements inside the circumference of 360 degrees which is life now you have your brain in your head the cerebrum cerebellum and the medulla but that's not your mind you see what I'm saying? So when you leave the physical composition, your body's going to return back to the physical essence of life because it's a limited source of energy. But the mind is constant energy. The mind is energy. God is energy. And energy don't die. You feel me? Because it's on an infinite plane. So once you notice in the mental, of course you're going to apply Things like that in the physical because you're living in your godly plane. And when you live in your godly plane, you don't fall victim to your desperation. See, remember when I started off the conversation, I said people fall victim to their desperation or something about desperation, right? Because a lot of people, this is where they fail at their plan. Listen to me. You be saying... I got the plan. And you know how many people see the plan um, halfway through? I'm going to put a picture up right now in this video. You, they see the plan so close. Look look at this picture right here that I'm putting up. This dude is in a, he's in a cave, like, digging for diamonds. He's in a diamond mine. And he got the, I, the pick, right? And he's digging for diamonds. And he's knocking the rocks down. And he keep breaking the rocks. And look. You see how the rocks are in this picture? Look at this picture. You see how the rocks are? He was so close to his goal. And he gave up and the diamonds was right there. All he had to do is hit the rock like two more times. You see what I'm saying? And you can't give up because of desperation. Now check it. Look, we all, we all got to do what we got to do to get the bag, right? You feel me? But you can't let the bag catch you out there. You feel me? Now look, you know there's a lot of people. And now look. I'm not going to get on that. Look, let me just tell you this too. If, if, if you find yourself whispering about something, ask yourself why. You feel me? Because if you're living in your God plane and your God truth, you don't got to whisper, water down, nothing. 
You feel me? You're supposed to speak truth. Let me tell you something. You want to attract God or please God? Speak truth. You want to please the devil? Speak lies. And that's just some juice for y'all. But look, listen. A lot of people be so, so close to their goal and it'd be desperation. It'll be like, it could be a financial situation and you got to go for all your bills and all this havoc could just occur or a un unfortunate a financial in incident occur where you have to spend some other money that you didn't plan on spending or an investment will go wrong or something. But remember, don't let your desperation stop your plan because a lot of people, right? They get caught in the devil's lasso. And y'all know what I'm talking about. They get caught in the devil's lasso like this. Look, just, just say through biblical testimony or, you know, what they show you on TV because that's telling lies to your vision. But there's some truth in TV. You just got to know how to decipher it, right? So say, look, in the little cartoons, they got uh, an angel on your shoulder and they got a little bad demon shit on your shoulder or devil or something, right? And look, this one's saying, yo, do this. And this one's saying, don't do that. He's telling you the wrong shit. And this one's saying, don't listen to stupid. You feel me? It's your discretion which you're going to choose. Because remember, it says in biblical testimony, and it just is information, the Bible that goes from um, Genesis to Revelation, the 66 books, whether it be the Gideon Bible or the King James Version. But, and look, I'm just giving it to you, the Bible, but it's in the Quran, it's in the Surah, it's in the Ayat. So it's, it's just in your face and you got to decipher the truth, right? But look, I'm just giving it to y'all figuratively like this, right? All right. So this one's telling you, do the bad thing or whatever. And this one's telling you, don't do that. He's telling you do bad. And he's like, don't listen to stupid. So you got, it says like when we came into the garden of Eden in Genesis, that when Adam came into the garden of Eden, um, um, God told him, yo, don't eat the fruit or whatever. And you know, I'm just giving you the biblical um, testimonies just as like, so y'all can see it. Not that I believe in these, these things actually happen, but it's figuratively so you could think about it, so you can grow from it, so you can get in God. Like Jesus Christ, they say he's getting into his God status. It's just like you got to master it and get into it and use all your God power, not the lower level shit. Because look, you could just be in your physical form and you could just be a layman, just like a regular mortal shit. But God is immortal because God don't die. And once you know that you the God inside, you become immortal. Most people that's dumb, deaf, and blind, 85% of the people is dumb, deaf, and blind, right? And 10% of the people know the truth, but they keeping them niggas dumb, deaf, and blind by doing some, having dumb work for them. And you work 40 hours a week and this nigga's the boss and you're doing all the work and he's getting all the money. Or the corporations... They getting all the money and all the workers is doing it. And Jeff Bezos is the richest or the second richest nigga in the world. But all them niggas in Amazon and all them niggas de delivering the boxes, they putting the work in. But because he had guap and he was able to... And look, initially he didn't have guap because he used his mind and he acquired guap. He was able to do that to people. And like the Rockefellers and... The 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 robber barons, they used to call it back in the days, the Carnegie's, the DuPonts, the Kennedys, all of them, they got crazy old money. You feel me? So they able to get Carnegie Hall, Rockefeller Center, and then they have the people working it for them for years. And they they make donations to schools and hospitals and shit like that. And they manipulate your health with the hospitals. And they manipulate your children's education with the educational system. You know what I mean? And look, I know for people that ask my pigmentation, meaning Afro-American or any min minority, whether you be a Korean, whether you be a, a white that don't got crazy money, that just live with all the blacks and Koreans and Spanish and Migos and all that shit. And look, I'm not saying this to bring 
separation between people because I'm living my God plane. So I'm not going to be like, even though I know in my lesson that they say, oh, certain people are devils and certain people's a God and certain people got evil behavior by nature and certain people got good behavior by nature and they kind, comparing, compassionate people. But then there's some other people who got evil in them, but they look mad good and they could just manipulate shit through the media by like all the robbers in the media is black dudes or 90% of the robbers in, in the media look like me. Um, or Spanish or some low level nigga, like I said, right? And then all the people that's locked up in real life and on the media look like me or look like the people who live in urban communities who don't have a lot of finances or, or not live in a God state. You feel me? Now look, let's stay on that for a minute because the reason why I'm saying they not live in a God state is because, look, you got to be, God is good orderly direction. See, the G is for Guma, Oz, and the bars, which means wisdom, strength, and beauty, right? And you have to amplify your wisdom, strength, and beauty because when we, the gods and earths in Africa, along the Nile River, Asia, all of that, they admire in our behavior. So the Greeks gave them that name. They was like, that's Guma, Oz, and the bars. So that's like, Wisdom, strength, and beauty because we was amplifying it through our behavior. We loved one another. We wasn't robbing and killing one another. We wasn't banging like I got red, you got blue, he's this, he's that. Nah, none of that was going on. It was like when you meet your brother, you greet your brother, peace king, how it should be. You feel me? And look, I'm not making a big separation for Caucasian people or white people, whatever you want to say, because I'm not looking at it from a racist perspective, but I'm just looking at it from my perspective and the people that are like my pigmentation, not, you know, saying that black lives don't matter and none of that shit, but it's like, or black lives are more, so much more important than other lives. I'm just saying that because of what the black lives endured, they going through mad um, turmoil and hardship because of slavery. In 1555, right, a slave trader by the name of John Hardy Hawkins Jr. went over to Africa in a ship called the Good Ship of Jesus. And all these dudes is waiting for Jesus to come save them through Christianity. But see, it's just trickery that was given to you by certain power families that manipulate the system. You feel me? And when I say manipulate the system, I mean controlling the stocks and how that's operating, like how gold and how the gold prices fluctuate. They're controlling this, whether you want to believe it or not. There's people that's investing money in certain things and their money is so long that they can, manip they can manipulate certain things. Look, you see how um, Martha Stewart got arrested and she had to do a year for like insider trading because their money is long. And look, her money's nothing like the Rothschilds. Her, monthly, her money's nothing like the Rockefellers. You feel me? And just... The, the Lees, I could name all the 13 families, the Onassis. Yo, man, listen, do your research, get knowledge, because knowledge is power, right? Increase your power and don't get caught up in these, the desperation of things, because the desperation going to get you caught. And look, let me just show you, look, it's like a big, and, and most of the people and this is for a lot of people that are not financially, you know, they don't have finances to where they can just live their life the way they want to. Because look, when you acquire a, a strong degree of finances, it frees up your time because you, you, you're able to pay other people to do things for you. You feel me? So that's like all the people who work at Amazon, 
why Jeff Bezos is able to pay them a salary every week or bi-weekly. He's able to vibe out with Elon Musk or just get with his mastermind team and create other things that's going to afford him to go on vacation and do things with his wife and his children, go on yacht rides and whatever he enjoys, just play cricket or golf with his friends. But he's going to have time to do this because he utilizes his mind instead of getting caught in desperation. And look, the reason why I'm saying this is because I remember, and you can look on YouTube, there's a video of Jeff Bezos. He all nerdy. And look, he's still nerdy, but he ain't that stupid. And I'm not saying a nerdy nigga stupid because I got mad nerdy friends and it's, it's cool to just be you. If you're a nerdy dude, just salute to you. Because it's cool being you. You don't got to look. I can be nerdy if I wanted to, but I just didn't. You know, my shit don't work like that. And it's a little bit different. But I'm me. You feel me? But um, look. He, he, I got, I seen the, the thing on Jeff Bezos where he's like, he's chilling in Amazon and it's just like him and two of his men's and he just starting Amazon and he just had like some school desks. Three, he had no factories and they was just coming up with the ideals and he was like, oh, God, this is, he had to put his son on the wall. He was like, this is my new company, Amazon. And like a 10, 15 years later, you see what that shit is? You feel me? And look, I'm pretty sure that when he was needed investments for people, some of them shits fell through. But he didn't give up with his desperation and the need for money. He was just like, I'm going to get another source. And I'm not going to do nothing to fuck up this Amazon plan. Because he's seen the big plan way back. And if you got plans like that, don't get caught up in your desperation. Because look, I did it myself. And look, plenty of times... My mans, I watched them do it. And look, it's just like the devil threw a, threw, he took a big hook and he put a worm on it and he threw it in the water. And he was like, bite this, you sucker. And you coming. But see, only different, the fish gonna get killed and go in the pot and get ate. No, you gonna go to prison or you gonna get killed or you going some, your plan gonna fail and you gonna sink and you gonna have to start all over because of one desperate move. You feel me? So that's like, I advise everybody to exercise your full potential. Um, knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is to look, listen, observe, and analyze a situation for what it really is, not for what it appears to be. You feel me? And, um... Don't bite that hook, man, because it'll get you and it'll get you back. And it's better just look. It's better just take a take a a straight path. Even if you gotta go a little bit slower and it look like people passing you know what? Just focus on what you doing. And and even if it get hard, because look, remember when I told y'all the strongest soldiers get the hardest challenges. So it get crazy hard. And then remember I told y'all about the two the two things. This one saying, don't do that. And this one saying, listen, don't listen to him. You're going to get in trouble, man. And look, because look, this is what I'm saying. This one saying, don't do that. No, this one saying, do that. Come on, listen to me. And this one saying, don't do that. That ain't going to work. And the choice is yours because you're in the middle. You got freedom of choice and you gotta watch your choices and you can't get caught in desperation remember what i'm saying to you you might be like ah oh, damn i want to open this store i got um 15 racks but the man said and i wonder or i got 30 racks but i wanted to get this much no nah, 30 racks that's no excuse for that but if you like oh, i got like 10 racks damn i want to get some supplies or something or i got 15 racks whatever you got and look you just going like meet where you're going to have to really work hard. And your man saying, son, if you just do this, one click. And you like, nah, that shit is illegal. And you got some legal shit lined up. And then your man is like, but if you do this flip, it'll take like 10 days, 20 days, and you're going to have 30. You know how many people got caught in that? 
and they got 30. You feel me? And I'm talking about 30 years. You feel me? When he had a real good plan. Now they got to go sit for a little while. So these people, you could be good. Do all that other shit. And then still come home and succeed. Yo, listen to me, man. It's better to just fly straight. Do what you got to do. And don't get caught in peer pressure and that desperation shit. Yo, my name is Lashing the Guard. I'm just trying to give y'all some juice for your mind. Because I'm guard. And guard means guma odds and the bars. The G is for good orderly direction and i'm trying to put y'all in the right direction yo but you know how i say you could take my advice or you could throw it away yo my name is lashim the guard i do videos on street legends i drop knowledge that'll help you elevate your life and i drop knowledge for the gods the earth and the babies yo peace i love y'all i want to see y'all all do well one for your brothers and sisters as you want for yourself and i'm talking to the whole humanity because i'm god for real man I got I got some white associates and friends and they cool with me, you feel me? And I'm not on that prejudice shit, you feel me? Even though I know the science of everything in life, you know what I mean? So just keep building, teach your children to build, tell them don't bite that hook neither, don't go out there and get caught up in it, you know what I mean? And just focus and grow and keep building, love one another, and subscribe to my channel, Keep Low, you heard me? But y'all, you understand me on some real shit? Rock out with me, Keep Low. Go to www.keeplowproductions.com. Check out the page. Order your Keep Low shirts. Hit me in the comment section. Comment on this video. Get this video a thumbs up. And just rock out with me, yo. Peace. Stay the fuck focused, you hurt.